if I was president, things would be different because everybody would be armed with one egg a day that you are allowed to throw at someone. All right, is everybody ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot I mean, of stuff I'll about say. to boil. I can't wait to have this podcast. <laughs> I love it when we're about to start a break or the podcast and I have to go, stop it, save it. <laughs> because a lot of times you guys just bust your nut and it's over. Bust and the then, nut. And then we try and get it on the air again and it just doesn't have you. You mean it's blow your wad? Fair enough. I mean bust a nut. You bust okay. that nut it's and it's the over. Same thing. Blow we'll talk about poop yeah. for the next yeah. twelve minutes. Okay, so right. let's start with. Hey, Andrew, are you out there? I, we need a COVID update. So, everybody that traveled to Vegas and then people that came into contact here, we all did COVID tests. Mm-hmm. Yep. Here in the studio, and uh, it was what five, six tests you did? Uh, yeah, I did five, four tests, and then three downstairs. As well. Can't hear Andrew. Hello? Oh, you got, oh, you're sitting at the wrong mic. That'll never work. Here, come, here. To... come here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, For the love of shit. <laughs> so important what you just said. Okay, okay so... hi, everybody. Hi. Great okay. to see you. Okay, so we did seven tests. Yeah. Out of the seven, Gary didn't test. Um, <laughs> all seven didn't. of us have That's tested one. negative. Oh. Look at us. Scary is the most important. What? Scary is the most important to test. Oh, I just shoved that shit up my nose. Come on. All right. Oh, well, we're going to need 30 minutes, and this is only a 15 minute morning oh, show. Well, so. we'll post an update on Instagram. Tomorrow. Better get a hazmat oh, suit. Yeah. <laughs> do you, do you want to get tested? I don't care. Yeah. I've been tested five times in the past week and a half. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm, I'm negative every time. Let's what? bring the temper down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I mean, I it's like just a nasal swab. We're wasting te- <laughs> tests Apparently, at this point. Apparently, garlic kills COVID. I just so don't make it. This does not make any sense to me. All How right. many times are we going to test? Maybe okay. we'll find out you're pregnant if we test you yes. for COVID. <laughs> I'll go get the test. I'll stick. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, while Andrew is doing that, I think we wanted to talk about driving yes. today. Yes, yes. And I yes, want to ask yes. all my friends here uh, what they do. So uh, we've all parallel parked before, correct? Many times. Oh, yeah. Sure. So when you're pulling back into a spot, do you, what do you use? Do you use your blinker, your left or right blinker, or do you put your hazards on? Blinker. 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 Right? blinker. I tell people where you're going. Hey, yeah. di- Hey, Diamond, what do you use? You got to oh, talk yeah. into the microphone. Talk into your microphone there, uh, Diamond. Oh, talk to the big pickle. I um, put on my hazards. Why? Oh, no. That so, means you're in trouble. Yeah. yeah and it, you're not exactly. moving. So, so let's take it to last week. So, Diamond, uh, I saw a spot on the street as I, uh, Gandhi and I were driving into work, and I saw a car that put their hazards on. So I said, oh, I have a spot I can drive into. As I'm ready to get into the spot, Miss Diamond, with her hazards, are backing up into the spot, almost crashing. I go, who taught you that? She goes, that's what you're supposed to do. No. Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. No. Nope. That was what you're supposed to do. So, so. If your car broke down, it's what you're supposed to do. If you're backing right. up and turning into a spot, no. no well, no. I, mean, I don't know. I, I may side with Diamond only in one instance. If it's kind of a blind curve, I might put on both blinkers, you, you know, my four ways, just what? so people know that I'm there. How do they drive in Erie? We don't, yeah. nobody parallel parks in area. We have parking <laughs> That's lots. why you don't know the rule. We have parking lots. Guys, but, have we found someone who drives worse than I do? I think I, so. I, I think so, Danielle. <laughs> I think so. Crown, she didn't, in, in Diamond's crown. defense, she didn't crash into anything, <laughs> that, uh, Danielle. Uh, yeah, and that, that you know of. Also, he's not saying that where we were was close to the corner. So if I would have put on my left-hand blinker, he could have thought that I was just turning. Not if your backup lights were on. Yeah, backup lights. <laughs> Hello. Daddy, are you on here? Not yours. Justice. <laughs> and and on by, the side, by the way, side of justice. The the street that we're talking about is a one way going the opposite way. So if you're putting your left hand blinker on, and I think you're going making a left up a one way, like you, you got serious. Problems. Okay, who thinks? How can, a, how can a street go one way the wrong way? No, I think what he's saying is if she had her left blinker on, the street was a one way going right, so she couldn't be going. Okay, let's put this to bed. Who thinks diamonds in the wrong? Say aye. 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 Who aye. thinks she's correct? Say I'm nay. Sorry. Nay. Not even okay. I have another thing that oh, Diamond well, look, got us into. Even they oh. got convinced. Oh wait, before hang on, before we do that, Scary, will you do I, your COVID test? Yeah, real quick? I guess. Uh, get up, you gotta get, get up, up in there, there Scary. Get up, up in there. there. I want to hear you no, gag. No, 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 higher, higher, higher. higher. Deep knows that thing. Two, Deep knows three, it. Four, five, six, oh. seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's not even up in your nose. Oh, stop! He's covering his nose hairs. 
Get up, up into the brain. Get in there, get in there. Touch the brain. I don't want stuff to come out One. Porn movie, let's go. Higher. Deep nose it. I think that they. Higher, man. Oh, God. Uh, uh, you're not hitting oh, you anything. have a lot of nose hair, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. That was yes. the wackest okay, okay. test. That's like nothing. That's, that's like when you get those tests from the resort. I got in there. I, saw him I got in there. Looked, I like, like, hold on a second. Uh-huh. This is insanity. You're all a bunch of hypochondriacs. Why, why, why are we? I just want to know why. Well, okay. I took a test before we got to the airport mm-hmm. for iHeart. I get on the ground. I'm forced to take another COVID test. And I took another one. In negative, Vegas. negative, negative. I took a third one. Then I wore a KN95 mask because we had to go backstage. And then I'm fully vaxxed. So all of this stuff put together, everything, and now we come home, and why are we taking this test Because again? somebody in the building said they did not feel good, and they had a fever mm-hmm. who was at the festival where all of us were. This is so instead of just trying to, like, hey, look out for other people, all you're right. like, fuck you all, you hypochondriacs. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be safe than sorry? Yeah, like, but what? It, but, but we've scary. We've got COVID now. Scary. scary, scary. Wouldn't you rather be safe than sorry? No, we would not. <laughs> <laughs> No, he'd rather I be feel upset. Fine. <laughs> I'm vaxxed. It doesn't I'm like, matter. Oh, you good. feel Scary. fine. Go, visit, go be... visit your parents. People yeah. don't have to have symptoms. You... Oh, my it's God. Good you're I'm not, uh, I, it's I, good that you're vaxxed, Scary, just... but, but that, that doesn't mean you're not going to get it. I'm going to take another test, test tomorrow to get on the ship, right? And it doesn't mean you're not going to give it to somebody else who might not be vaxxed, who I'll you can then keep... harm. Guys, why are you even trying? I mean, you're preaching to the choir over here. They need to invent something. You just connect to your phone and do a quick swab of your phone, of your nose. Yeah, and, uh, to up your good, we get because we literally go. uh, we're froggy. get to the fucking point where we test every five minutes. Froggy, so Froggy, uh, right? Froggy. Isn't that where, where we're going with this? Frog. Froggy, uh, Android had that two years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you mean Android created COVID then? Because it wasn't around then. So now we're playing COVID on Android. <laughs> Fuck uh, Android. Uh, Android. Uh, actually, actually, it's COVID nineteen because it was like a, like a, a two years ago. Right. And have that to be a test. All right, but let's was let's, just ready. let's move on. I'm changing sorry. gears, changing uh, gears. Uh, oh, car yes. stuff. Oh, oh, I was gonna throw diamond under the bus again <laughs> because when we were on our off, the, I saw that little snake guy out there. <laughs> when we were on our off the grid trip, you know, we had this enormous RV, like 35 feet, something 32 like that. 32 feet. 32 not feet. Fun to drive. Humongous. <laughs> it was very stressful to drive that thing around. Diamond had to get Starbucks. <sighs> Everybody, every single one of us had a different point where I think we just snapped, and Andrew snapped. We got into that parking lot, and we couldn't get out. And not only could we not get out, there was a police officer who refused to help us and was basically like, go fuck yourselves. I don't know why you turned in here. All of the patrons were beeping at us, yelling at us, you're blocking our shit. People were, like, throwing their coffee cups at us. It was quite dramatic. Andrew was like, I quit! I'm done! I'm not doing this anymore! I felt so bad for him. It was rough. Yeah, I don't really like confrontation. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of confrontation. But you want to be on Survivor. Listen, if someone <laughs> confronts me, I will happily give it back. But when it's over a parking spot that someone had to have their venti coconut macchiato after leaving a beautiful national park... <laughs> Um, I get a little pissed. And You're I'm not a little bougie lie. there, uh, Diamond. <laughs> exactly. Myself, first of all, it was a coconut miso. Boom, boom, oh. boom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Makes all the difference. I will say there is something like that animalistic thing. And Froggy, have you had it? Like that instant road rage? Oh, oh yeah. I remember when I was taking my pills after I had the first stroke. Oh one of the side effects was uncontrollable rage. Right. And right. somebody would like... Pull out in front of me. I'm like, you cocksuck. I mean, just screaming. (laughs) With the first uh, brain tumor that I had back in 2010, I used to get what they call acro rage. And Mm -hmm. I would be just fine. And then the smallest little thing could send me over the edge. And I would absolutely positively lose my shit. Ask Danielle. She's seen it happen. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) I was was diagnosed with a similar thing, Froggy, now that you mention it. Uh, I was diagnosed with being born from in Brooklyn. Uh And so (laughs) when you are... Everyone's a son of a bitch, motherfucker. Get off the road, regardless of what they're doing. No, you like, yell all the time. But imagine all poor the, Andrew. If I, if I had is, seen Diamond, I would have screamed at her and cursed her. Without for her a doubt. Blinkers. I yeah. mean, Andrew's the nicest person. He's never trying to get into the shit. And you had all of these people. I mean, it was like a team effort yeah. against us screaming at us. May I'm I ask sorry. A question? It took forever. I, I have a question <laughs> about road rage. So there have been plenty of times where someone will be next to you, you know, behind me or whatever, and I'm like, God damn, you motherfucker. But then when they stop next to you next to the light, they're like, hmm, hi, 
You chicken shit? Yeah. I would never. No, dude, I will mad dog the shit out of him. I will pull up yeah. right next I to their car. I usually put my hands up like this. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> the people who are the actual bad drivers, though, are people that have AAA stickers on their window. On the window. Not if you're a member and you don't display it, but if you have it on your window. Or you have the triple wide rear view mirror. And if I see that in your car, I'm like, dude, this person, I stay away I, from them. I had a girl just a last Equinox. week. I was driving on a two lane road. There was a girl next <laughs> to me. I was kind of in her blind spot, but she was on her phone. She started drifting into my lane. I had to go off the road into the grass so she yes. didn't hit me. So she didn't sideswipe me. I pulled up next to her. I look at her like, what the fuck was that? She holds her phone up like I was on my phone. I'm like, fuck <laughs> you. I'm like, you got to be right. fucking kidding me. I told you guys, if I was president, things would be different because everybody would be armed with one egg a day that you are allowed to throw at someone for any reason. I think it would happen in traffic a lot. One is not you enough. You only get one. Did a, no, no, but you can't get did crazy I, did with I it because guys... some people would just unload but eggs But, Gotti, you could encounter a dickhead at 10 o'clock, and then what do you do if you encounter another one at 3 p.m.? A bigger dickhead. That's it. You have to be right. smart about it. You have you to really buy think, more eggs. is this uh, an eggable offense? Okay, can I hold did my I, eggs from you... Tuesday and use two on Wednesday? Yeah, sure. Okay, one good. Egg a day. One egg a day. Hold over your egg. Did I tell you guys on the on this podcast the hamburger story? No. I think I told it on the air. Many, the one you many sent years back because there was lettuce on it. No, Dick. Oh. This podcast so, is so terrible. So many, 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 many years ago, I used to work for Red Robin. Red Robin. Um, and uh, the store I worked at, the location I was at, was out of hamburgers. There was a problem with the delivery, so I had to drive to another location and pick up like ten cases of. Uh, hamburger patties in, in cases that had like a uh, wax paper burger, wax paper burger, you know, stacks of them. And so I was getting on the uh, the FDR drive, but which is by the Brooklyn Bridge and is a merge where it goes from two lanes to one to a ramp and then it goes on to a three lane highway. So a guy came out of nowhere and cut me off, it almost hit me. And so when I got next to him at, at the bottom of the ramp, I had my window open and I threw raw hamburger meat in his car window. Hell yeah. Oh my God. See, and I bet that guy's going to think twice about being a dick again because he doesn't know if hamburger meat could come flying at him. That's Much right. Like it's the like egg. the egg theory. I, so I, I, yeah. I got to say, I moved from Brooklyn, New York to New Jersey. And when I did, all my cars in New Jersey have now, ever, ever since, had a New Jersey license plate on it. Here's the problem I am a Brooklyn, New York savvy driver. Oh, you drive like With an a ass. New Jersey plate. Hold on. If, if I'm going to New York and I'm in Brooklyn or I'm in the New York area, they see my Jersey plate and yep. they think I'm from New Jersey. And I'm, so I feel like I have to prove myself. Yeah. And I'm like, I, they treat me differently because of the Jersey That's plate. Right. But meanwhile, I'm sitting in my car driving saying to myself, but I'm really from New York. But I have this Jersey plate. No offense to Jersey, but... I mean, I, but I, you know what I'm saying, though? You know, there's a nasal swab you can take to test your Brooklyn part. So, uh, can, uh, you all into it. I don't know. It's a nasal swab. So. And, and that's all the time, time we have for today. today. Oh, thank you, everybody. Oh. I feel like that was the Brooklyn Boys podcast. Bunch of COVID idiots. Right?